Well, we just delivered Captain John Lovewell, the bronze, to uh, John Lovewell, the present. And this is his lodge here at uh, Lake Tahoe. What a beautiful view of the lake, huh? I stuck in Reno yesterday. Anyway, let me show you the, the bronze. And there's the bronze right there. Now, John's going to show me the uh, painting uh, that was done for him of Captain John Lowell, too. My bronze took eight months. His painting, the uh, John Buxton, took three years to do the painting. Well, well, Peter Philrup did these stained glass windows. Oh, really? And he, and he did them uh, uh, based on northeastern Indian uh, colors and, and tattoos. Huh. He found a, a drawing that somebody had done of an Indian uh, wearing these uh, tattoos that had basically this pattern. And he also had on a British officer's medallion, one of those brass medallions. Yeah. And that's what this shape is here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so uh, Peter Filler, for those of you who don't know, is an incredible sculptor that I used to show with years ago. And this is the office. So oh, cool. Let me close that. You get better light if I close this. Now this is a. Now that's the rifle, or the uh, at least the powder horn that belongs. That's the powder horn, and, and I, I think the uh, rifle is a later technology. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's about 1820s or 30s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this is the painting John Buxton did of uh, Captain Lovewell, and uh, the uh, ambush on. Uh, Lovewell Pond. Uh, Lovewell Pond, and that's Captain Lovewell there in his painting in the center. And, and you can see he's already wounded. He's Oh, is that what it was? I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And he's he's they're coming they have just ambushed an Indian around the other side of the lake and now they're coming back to pick up their packs. And uh, in the meantime, eighty Indian Braves and Chief Pogus over here uh, came around the other side of the lake and they saw the packs and they realized what they had, so they set. So this, they set up the ambush, and and John actually went to the site. John Ant Buxton, the painter. Yeah. And he he figured that this creek creek bed was a logical place for them to set the ambush. Yeah. And he and you know he copied the foliage and the time of year and everything. Cool. So. That's and then this is a um, a powder horn that John Buxton gave me that is uh, was made by an expert horner named John Proud. And it is a exact copy of the powder horn that uh, Pogus oh, I see. has okay. in the painting. Yeah, see, there's the uh, powder horn in the painting. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah, he, he's actually got two powder horns. So now you got the outfit, too. Yeah, and then here's, uh, I like this guy over here. That's the, that's the one that oh, gets Oh, look, he's looking right at you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, well, this is a this is a great painting. Yeah. I can see why it took them three years because you got to build the whole situation up. And you got you got to figure, figure out the story. And, you know, you, and, and when he was painting it, he he had uh, Ken Harris, his historian, confirm the costumes and and the facial characteristics and all the uh, tattoos. Yeah. So I mean, he, as John said, though, no matter what he does, he's going to get criticized by a different <laughs> historians. So. Well, John Lovewell here is a direct descendant of John Lovewell in the painting and in my bronze. And when I did the uh, portrait of John Lovewell, I didn't have any photographs to go from. So I worked from uh, John's uh, face and took characteristics of him and put it into John Lovewell. I didn't want to make a portrait of John Lovewell, and he didn't want it either. No, but, over here, uh, we have, David, we have uh, a muster roll of, of the people who were with Captain John Lovewell. I think this was a, his uh, second expedition. There were three expeditions, and the third one is the one that's depicted in the wow. painting. And then here is a um, uh, commission from the governor of Massachusetts for John Lovewell's son, 20 years later, to fight in the wow. French, and French and Indian War. And that's an original. Both these are original documents. God, that's incredible. Yeah. And then we have the Garwood down here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a heck of a model, you know what? Yeah. All I did was just work on the leg of the uh, buffalo robed Indian, uh, sound of bugles, and I put some uh, fringe on its legging and some beadwork, and I just sort of fine-tuned the uh, skin of the uh, buffalo, 
So that's about all I did today. Uh, just a little bit of here and a little bit there. I don't want to do too much today because tomorrow's a big day to do stuff. Uh, the 4th of July. And then tomorrow night uh, I present the bronze or unveil it at John Captain or John Lovewell, his uh, house on the lake that you saw in the earlier part of this video. All right, uh, everybody have a great night. Everybody have a great and safe 4th of July tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.